Hi everyone, this is Alma, and I wanted to show you today how to make some paper flowers. Um, they look just like this, and I spent all weekend, whenever I could, when I wasn't working on finals or taking care of my kids, looking up YouTube tutorials on how to do different stuff for mini albums, because like I said, I've become obsessed with making them, and I'm currently working on a mini album to give my in-laws for Christmas. And I came upon this tutorial from Pinkaboo661 on YouTube. And let me just say that she's awesome. I mean, she is, you have to check her YouTube video, um, YouTube channel out. She just has the most amazing mini albums ever. And so um, I searched tutorial under her channel and she's so great at explaining how to do things. And she came. I came across this paper flowers one that I thought looked pretty cool, and she had gotten the idea from Dawn at, you know, Dawn from Stampin' Up Thoughts or something like that. I'll put a link to her website as well. And super easy. And these flowers made out of paper with a tiny little brad in there. So cute. Like I said, so simple. And so I'm just gonna show you really quick my way which is the same way that Pinkaboo, or Samantha, Pinkaboo661 does it. Um, but I just wanted to film a video really quick for my personal blog since I've kind of fallen behind on that a little bit. So what you're going to need is uh, some scallop circles. Now, she used a Stampin' Up! punch for hers, um, and she did eight for one flower. Um, my brads are not big enough for eight, so what I did was I just put, I just did four scallop circles cut at two and a half on my uh, Cricut using mini, mini monograms or you can also use the Imagine uh, machine where um, you know how it has those basic shapes on there and just cut out eight scallop circles at two and a half inches that's going to give you two flowers at like a medium size so I've already done these but what you're going to want to do is um, Samantha showed us, you know, how she did hers, and she inked the edges of her circles. And I'm just going to, you know, just quickly ink one. But you're going to want to ink your edges till they, you know, obviously are all just like this. And then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to take a water bottle or whatever. I think she used like a mini mist or thing. But you're going to want to spray your circle and that's going to make it easy for you to scrunch up. She used it as, she used the term uh, spitball as an example, but just squish it up, you know, just like so, till you have all of them squished up. And like I said, I've already kind of been working on a few. So these are already, have been moistened and scrunched up. So once you have them scrunched up, you're going to reopen them again, just like so. And you're going to take your piercer. I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers uh, Brad Setter. And you're going to want to put a hole in the middle. Because this is where you're going to... Oops, and mine ripped a little bit. That's okay. This is where you're going to obviously push, put your brad in. Just be careful because, like we said, or like as you can see, they're really um, delicate because they're, they are wet. So, you see I messed this one up and kind of ripped a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just put that one towards the bottom. And one more. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is you're going to put them all together. Just like so. Pick out a brad and excuse me because of course I forgot to choose the brad. I'm just using a just a simple silver one since my book is kind of just like an antique has kind of more of an antique look so I'm just using silver and just put that in the middle of your paper like so. 
Like I said, I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers uh, brad setter, so I have that little wedge on the back where it makes it so easy for me to just... the one day it's it's supposed to be easy to spread these apart there and so you've got this you've got your flour so now you're gonna scrunch it up one more time all around the bread And like I said, my last bottom one, had I'd really screwed that one up. But then you're going to just open it up one last time. And there you go. See, isn't that so cute and so easy? I've always seen people use paper flowers, and I've never... I guess I just never really took the time to learn how to do it. I always thought it would be so complicated. But nope. It dries up to whatever, however you leave it. And this is the first one I had worked on. And like I said, it's, it's got kind of like an aged look. And it's just so cute. So thank you so much for watching this. Um, I did want to make note that I was chosen as one of Sweet Sassy Diva's design team members. So go ahead and check out her blog. I'll be posting up my first uh, project that I made for her blog as well. And I hope you guys had a great Halloween, and I'll see you later. Bye.